Good morning. This is Dr. McDaniel. I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist in New York City, Midtown Manhattan. And I'm bringing to you all things health related for women. Thank you for joining me at the corner today. And let's see, recently I spoke about the um, UTI that just won't quit. Basically, when to see a specialist for your bladder. That's a uh, urologist. And I thought I would backtrack for a moment and um, just speak about some things homeopathically you can do over the counter to prevent or to treat early symptoms of a bladder infection or UTI because you really don't, if you really are having bladder infections or UTI cystitis, you don't need to see a doctor um, for those always. If you know the signs and symptoms, you catch it quickly, you can treat it yourself. Or if you really are just having frequent infections, you can prevent them yourselves, yourself. So um, the most common symptoms of a UTI or bladder infection are uh, waking up at night to urinate and it's not normal for you. So not waking up and then, oh, I think I have to, to use the restroom, but waking up because your bladder woke you up, it's really full or you're starting to urinate on yourself. So there is a difference. Uh, additional to that would be Frequ urinary frequency, so feeling like you constantly have to go. Uh, every five, 10 minutes, you feel like your bladder's full. You know there's no way it can be full because you just urinated 10 minutes ago. And despite the fact that it feels full, when you go, it's actually not full. It's just little drips or you go and there's nothing. Even though you feel like you have to empty it, nothing's coming out. We call that urinary urgency. So you feel the urge to go but it's a false urge. Another symptom will be blood in the urine or pink on the toilet paper. So infection or inflammation of the bladder will cause a lot of spasming and potentially little um, uh, burst of the tiny little blood vessels in the bladder, so the capillaries. Uh, another sign or symptom would be uh, when you go to urinate, I'm just gonna assume you sit down, you're not standing. You sit down to urinate, and then there's a bit of a pause. So you sit down to urinate. Normally the urine flows as soon as you relax your muscles. You have to wait a second or two and then it finally flows. Uh, so that's called hesitancy. So your bladder spasming from the infection or inflammation. And even though you're telling your bladder muscles to relax, to, to empty the urine, it's spasming. So there's a bit of a pause between when your brain is telling your bladder to urinate and when it actually complies. So that's hesitancy. Another symptom is the opposite end of the spectrum. When you finish urinating, even though your bladder's full, it feels like there's still something else that just has to come out. So nothing's coming out, even though you feel like there's still urine in the bladder, and then you're bearing down, really trying to force the last few drops out, but there's nothing to force out. We call that retention. Uh, so uh, waking up at night to urinate, feeling like your bladder's full, it wakes you up, you go to the restroom and then not much urine, that's called nocturia. Uh, urinate more frequently than usual, feeling like your bladder's full and it's not actually full, urgency. Uh, blood in the urine or pink on the toilet paper, that's called hematuria. Um, hesitancy, when you go to urinate, it takes a bit for the, the bladder to actually relax to release the urine that's in it. And then retention, feeling like your bladder still has urine in it, but it's actually empty, or you have to force out the last few drops. And in addition to that is dysuria, so painful urination. Now, a lot of people get this mixed up. They they um, tell me that they have dysuria or they have pain when they urinate, but in reality, the pain is only when the urine hits the skin. That's contact dysuria. That's different from painful urination or dysuria due to um, an infection of the urinary system. So that will be either during or as soon as you finish urinating inside the body, inside the lower belly or the pelvis, you have pressure, ache, burn, or discomfort, any unusual sensation either during or right after you finish urinating, that's actual dysuria that's related to the urinary tract system. And then some minor symptoms or signs of an infection will be a bad odor when you urinate. 
urine shouldn't have a bad odor, but it can have a bad odor if there's bacteria because bacteria smells bad. So if you have an infection, the urine will smell bad. Um, another minor would be low back pain because the bladder is spasming from infection or inflammation. The nerves from the bladder go to the lower back. Might also be constant lower abdominal pressure or discomfort, even if you're not urinating because of the bladder inflammatory changes. Um, and then not so minor, but not as common would be nausea vomiting because now you have an inflamed bladder. You have the intestinal system, the, the small intestine sitting on that inflamed bladder, and it's going to start to have symptoms, which is going to be nausea or even vomiting. And then gas or bloating because of the inflammation of the bladder, that contact inflammatory change affects the intestinal system. Uh, and then of course, not so minor, but not as common will be fever chills because if that bladder infection starts to ascend in the ureters and starts to ascend into the kidneys, now you're going to have um, potential fever and chills because it's not staying local, it's becoming systemic. And then you'll also have uh, a transfer of that pain. It'll go from the lower back, kind of mid lower back, and it can go up to the upper back, uh, one side, the other, or both. So I hope that's helpful information on um, the signs or symptoms of a bladder infection, cystitis UTI. And I think I'll make this a part two because I'm trying not to make these presentations too long, trying to make them in helpful short chunks. I'm going to leave it here and then I'll do a second presentation on um, the things you can take over the counter to treat or even prevent an infection. Uh, have a great rest of your day and stay tuned for part two to this um, presentation. Thanks. Bye.